Posta Coglu, at the start of the season, usually in my second season, I win things. That's a whole idea. We're definitely a better prepared team than we were last year. So he's kind of thrown the gauntlet down, hasn't he, for himself. This is his second season, so you're going to win something, Ange. It was put to him yesterday, and again, um, it, we, we saw Ange maybe in a different light. You said at the start of the season, uh, the first campaign really about setting principles, getting your message across. The second campaign, you normally win. Are you seeing enough in this side that this season you do think that they will be a side that can win? I'm talking silverware. Yeah, absolutely. Competing right at the top. Uh, am I going to answer the question or are you going to keep asking? No, absolutely. And I think I'll correct myself. I don't usually win things. I always win things in my second year. Nothing's changed. And you're confident you can do that with this side? You're seeing enough? Well, I just sort of said it now, so I don't say things unless I believe them. That was Sky's uh, Emma Saunders pushing Poster Collins. Now, you laugh there, Simon. Do you like that? Absolutely. How many managers in this day and age look for insulation and don't want to commit themselves and then have to be accountable for their words. Do you think he believes it? Um, well, why wouldn't he? I mean, he's doubled down on it. I think he probably thinks that he may well regret making these bold statements because he's going to be accountable for them. But they've got a League Cup, they've got an FA Cup, and they've got a Europa League to play in. I mean, they've got no chance of winning the Premier League. They're a mile off winning the Premier League. I mean, if you look at Tottenham Hotspur and you look at Arsenal, there's a big gap between them. And there's certainly a big gap between them and uh, and Manchester City. So they're not they're not a championship winning side, but they can win a League Cup. Maybe they turn up in a League Cup like they didn't last year against Fulham and put a result in. Maybe they can get deep into the League Cup and win themselves a League Cup. Maybe that would be an argument that people could have. They've got three cup competitions that Tottenham can participate in and be significant participants in. Why can't they go deep in the Europa League? But why should Rangers they? did. Why should they? I know, but Pochettino couldn't. Um Conte couldn't. Mourinho couldn't. But I think I think um Tottenham are a slightly different side than those at those times. I think the Mourinho Tottenham fit fit was a bad fit. I think Pochettino I don't think has the same characteristics as as Ange Postacoglu, albeit he's managed big sides, and I grant you that he's managed big sides, but he's now ended up managing the US national side as a as 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 the end of his career rather than a middle peer, tier when when Ange was managing the Australians. Yeah. Look, I think that I think they'll struggle to win anything this year looking at them because I don't think they're good enough. I don't think the players that they've bought are good enough. I look at Kuliseski, I look at Brennan Johnson, I look at these players and I think they're decent players if you're a mid-table Premier League side. They're not decent players for me if you're trying to win something with this team. So I look at them and I worry. Solanke is, is, we'll see. You know, the reasons why they buy Solanke, some would say is for a variety of different reasons, but mostly it's because the player wanted to play for Spurs. The statistics they, they they bought him for seem to be matched by the way they want to play. But people like Solanke have got to start scoring goals. You'd expect a centre forward to start scoring goals. Yeah. You know, the chance that he had in that game was more than a good chance. You know, There's take... a lot of clubs that looked at him, Solanke, 65 mil buyout clause. They went after him. Um, I don't think we should be knocking him, actually. I think he's trying to change the culture. Of course and try and bring is. that I, club I, up. I agree. And, and it's but one of those... Should he stick his neck out this y- far? Yes, he, t- he should, because the thing they lacked most of all yesterday was belief. And he's got to install belief. So he wants to underline it. And he's going after them because, look, I believe in you guys. We can do this, but you've got to believe in yourself. Everyone's got to buy into it. But there is a reality, Martin, isn't there? I mean, the one thing that managers would always say is that you give me good players and if I can manage, I'll give you a good team. And the bottom line is when you're operating at the higher level, you, you can get teams. Teams can get but, can punch above their weights. Mm. Uh, but there are teams that when you're, when you're competing with the elite, it's very difficult to punch above your weight on a repeated basis. This Spurs side, you look at them, they're nowhere near a Premier League winning side, aren't they? In terms of quality and Well, you see, I don't agree with that. See, I, I can see, I do see you something. You look at them, do you? I, I look at it and I think, well, this team should be doing better. I just feel that they've got in we, front of goal, that. Jimmy, in front of goal that they're creating chances or they're getting to the final third, but they're not opening the door up. He needs to find solutions for them to be able to do that. How many of those? Yeah. I mean, here's, here's an easy one for you because you've answered this question before dishonestly last time, but you can probably answer it honestly this time. <laughs> How many Spurs players would get in the Arsenal side? Uh, not, not many, not many at the moment. But I, I do you like Van. De, I like Van de Ven. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like their fullbacks moving into midfield, but I don't like the balance of it. I don't like two going in there. I think one should go in there. I don't like this really high line which is kind of like hell-bent on uh, being exposed. So there's kind of like, if I was working with the manager, I'd say, right, okay, we need this adjustment we need here. You need some balance, some strong views and some strong ideas, but be smart, be intelligent, because it's not quite working, is it? So, so make an adjustment. Talk, you seem to be talking and job. You think they're going to win something this season? 
I'm not saying that. It's about winning the next game. The next well, he, game, he is, does, the he, next game is Brentford at they, home. They've got he, to win it. He's got to win something this season. Yeah, but we've all got to win something. You have. That's what you work with. That's the diet that comes with it. That's the territory. He's got to. What he's got to do is start getting the team to be effective. Cup, I mean, if you're Palace, you haven't got to win something. He's not looking beyond be the next game, Simon. He wants to beat Brentford. He needs to start scoring oh, goals. Right. Solanke mm. now mm. was out but injured. We, but we agree amongst ourselves that what if he's if he's doubling down on winning something, then he means the League Cup and FA Cup or or, or a Europa League. He doesn't in any parallel. Universe. Yeah, but how many, league, does he? the core of this group, how many managers have they seen come and go? How many have they believed in, bought the story, to listen to that Churchillian speech when the manager comes in and it starts to fade? They start to slip down the table. It's like, now it's like, right, are you believing in me or not? Are we doing this together or not? Because there's the door. If you want the door, take it. Who's with me, who isn't? That's they what he said that in day one. Yeah, but he has to. Sometimes you have to say it, Jim. Halfway through the season I mean, or four games in, yeah. I think now we're going to see who wants to be a Spurs How many of these are his players? I mean, how many arguments we make? Because often the arguments made about players that you buy, and I always believe there's a combination of, you know, if you can get people to see your way of thinking, it's like one sinner repents in heaven, all the angels rejoice. So if you get people to buy into something, that rather than what they want to do. I well, mean, culturally, he's trying to change what he thinks, and he makes this point. Well, he's, but they are his players now, aren't they? Well, a lot of them John, are. Johnson, yeah, I mean, Solanke, like Benton, Madison. Clark weren't. They were signed by other people, and and obviously Son's been there for some period of time. Kulicheski was signed by other people. So there's, there's, and but the bulk of it, if you look at it, it's pretty much his his group of players. So if they fall short, Simon, who's it on? Andrew Levy. Well, look, I mean, you're going to if I answer it as Ange, you're going to suggest that I'm in the owners' union. I mean, ultimately, if Spurs have spent hundred, but you've just called that poor recruitment. Yes. Not good enough. Not, not good I, enough. Not, not good I, enough. I, hold on, I didn't say that at all. I've said that I, I don't think they're good enough to win the Premier League. I've just li- listed the things that they could win. Can they win a League Cup? Well, I don't see why not. Can they win an FA Cup? I don't see why not. But were they Can they win poss- the Europa League? Are they better than what Rangers are as a squad? And Rangers mm. got to the final. Yeah, I think they are. Mm. So Jim, with the, that in mind, they get the right draw. Yes, they can. Is that satisfactory for Tottenham fans? Only they can answer that. Mm. But these are the players that the manager, I mean, you assume he wanted them, but they were his first targets. Was it what the budget allowed for? Yeah. You know, did he want Solanke or was it an attractive price, an attractive deal? These are questions he can only answer, Jim, when he's probably left the club. Well, Ange re-emphasised it. No, not usually. I always win something in my second season. Tottenham fans, waking up this morning because you lost yesterday. You lost to Arsenal. Do you believe in Postecoglou when he says, I always win something in my second season? That means your club is going to win something at last. Do you believe it? Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.